Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you have donated to my channel in any way, monetarily, um, energetically, however, thank you, Scorpio. I appreciate you very, very much. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options. I do have a 15% off tarot P session, a little bit of breakup coaching, and a little bit of tarot. It is 15% off the one hour session from now until the 28th by using code BREAKUP in the promo. If you would like to enter to win $125, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and entering blessing. But if you're doing well for yourself, let's let this for our friends here that could use the extra come up. But everybody is welcome to enter to win a free half hour FaceTime reading by liking, subscribing, and entering reading. I hope everybody is doing well, living their best Saturday life. Those who work Monday through Friday, you made it through another week and we are into the weekend. It is going to be the best day ever, Scorpio. We are going to have the best Saturday known to man. We are starting out here with the Daily Tarot. Who am I ready to forgive? Uh-oh, this is a hard one. Learning to forgive. Learning to forgive yourself, learning to forgive other people will be sometimes one of the hardest le life lessons that we will ever learn. Am I not what happened? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become, period. I love that affirmation. We're going to say it again. I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. It is time to let go, forgive, and move on. Is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Today's soul action, write a forgiveness letter, then practice the Hopana Ana prayer today while thinking of a person that you are ready to forgive. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I really recommend you all trying this um, prayer. It um, is... H-O-O-P-O-N-O-P-O-N-O. -O 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 -O. It is a Hawaiian self-love prayer. Um, you can do mirror work with it when you look in the mirror and, and just all, um, repeat, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Now, it can be incredibly uncomfortable when you first start doing it. You feel so bizarre staring at yourself in the mirror and repeating this. But a lot, if you do it right, a lot of emotions can come churning up. You'll find yourself feeling like you want to cry and then you'll start releasing. For some of you, you need to forgive yourself. You need to forgive you first before you can forgive another person for what they have done. For some of you, you've been dealing with a situation or a person that um, hasn't given you any apology. They haven't given you any closure. And you have to find a way to forgive without ever being told sorry. And, and that can sometimes be the hardest one of all, is forgiving somebody who will never apologize or never feel bad for what they have done. There are some people out here that are incapable of feeling what you feel, Scorpio, or incapable of feeling sorry. So look at it from your higher self. Feel sorry for them that they have, um, you know, decided to act or behave the way they are or they need to heal and they are not healing. Um, you can look at it from your higher self and it really does give you the ability to forgive Tell me, Spirit, what is the overall energy for Scorpio today? This is a timeless reading. Um, it is whenever you are seeing it. 
serendipity. Perfect timing here. Happy situation. A fortunate stroke of luck. Today is the best Saturday you have ever had, Scorpio. Today is going to be the best day of the rest of your life. Taking one step at a time, don't rush the journey. Gradually building on success and the start of something bigger. It's been a stepping process. You may be really trying to get over a situation or get over a lover. Um, and, and perhaps it's been very difficult. You take a few steps forward and a few steps back and this thus is life. Or maybe you're trying to step your way into a, uh, um, you know, better money or a different career or, or get yourself out of a hole or debt or whatever the case is. It is a stepping process. If you have been trying to heal, you cannot rush your healing journey. It happens as fast as it happens. Yeah, you're definitely rebuilding here, rebuilding your life after loss, investing a lot of effort, ready to take action to improve, and determination in drive. A lot of you are embodying this energy where you're not going to be a victim. You're tired of being a victim, and you are rebuilding your life a little bit at a time. You're rebuilding your life after a divorce, perhaps. Your finances were really in a bad place at one time. Or you're rebuilding yourself in general. And you're coming into a place where you are no longer feeling um, so, so scared. Or like you're walking on a tightrope. I can tell you that there's been times in my life where I felt like I was at the bottom of a mountain in my bare feet and I had to get to the top somehow and I didn't know how I was going to do that. And you can become so overwhelmed with all of the things that needs to happen to be able to, to you know, get out of something or make your way through an issue or a problem. So it's important to micro goal set one small little task at a time, one little healthy um, change at a time, and they will all add up to a big, beautiful life. So if there's something that you're working your way out of, honey, make a list. What can I do? What can I do today? Do not dwell on the things that you cannot change. Only what you can change and slowly work your way to that goal. Sometimes we want to try to do everything all at once and we have all of these ideas and all of this or, or the opposite where it's just so much pain and so much disaster and we don't know how to get through um, because it's all so very much and where the hell do you even start? Start small. Start with the things you can change. Um, you know, call a utility company. Uh, get get a list of get a budget. Do do little things to try to make um, you know make you feel a little more organized here with rebuilding. For some of you, you're bored of your daily routine. You're, today, you may feel a little bored, longing for change here. You feel constrained by circumstances. You may feel constrained by finances, constrained in general. You're just so tired of being sick and tired. Um, you're, so, you're so tired of not having enough money or you're so tired of, of just feeling like heartbroken. You want it to go away, but it's a stepping process. And there are some very beautiful divine timing, um, happy situations wanting to come in for you. Not knowing where you stand, situation or decision, and still undecided, uncertain about something, and lacking stability. For some of you Scorpios out there, you're lacking a bit st of stability in your money and finances. And Spirit is saying it's going to be a stepping stone process. What can you do right now? Can you eliminate some, you know, uh, memberships that you don't even use? Can you eliminate some uh, buying um, that Starbucks every day? What can you do? What are the small things that you can do to start changing your finances and money around? It's so frustrating when you're trying and you're trying and you're trying and you're just not getting ahead. I, I know it can be. Here in the U.S., at least, I know, um, it takes a second to mess up your credit and, and, and a lifetime to fix it. And so for some of you, you're trying to rebuild yourself. You're trying to rebuild your life. You may have some really good ideas coming in, but you just don't know where to start. You're feeling a little uneasy and uncertain about life right now longing for change. Remember, nothing changes until something changes, and that change has got to be you. Nothing will change until you change. You start making some better decisions. 
Spirit, tell me what the stepping stone here is, please. Uh, for some of you, this is a this has been a journey. It's been a journey of healing, a journey of of you breaking free from a toxic connection. Um, you, you're listening to your in internal guidance system. There's been overflow of sadness and sorrow. There's been emotional release, but that is good. Try that prayer that I, I just said. I think it's, I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but I think it's a, the Ha Pana Ana prayer. I don't know. But if you put in the way I just spelled it there in, in the um, description of YouTube, you'll find many. And let me know if, if enough of you is interested. I will try to link it um, somewhere in, in, in the community, on the community post. For some of you, it would be so beneficial because you need to release some of the sadness. You need to have some emotional release. It's going to be one step at a time. You may feel really sad today. You could feel like crying, but you are breaking free and you are slowly stepping your way into a place where you can overcome whatever this is that you are uh, battling. For some of you, it's love and money. Why is Scorpio bored today, Spirit? Why are they longing for change? Because you're tired, you're stressed, you're distorted. Something has just been nagging. There's been fear. There's been you just not um, being able to stand it anymore. Your mind. Sometimes we want to run away from ourself. And that's the worst. When you just want to get away from yourself. You can't even stand yourself anymore. You can't stand your thoughts. You can't stand the way you feel. You just want to feel better. There are a lot of things that you can start doing, sweetheart. Journal. Focus on, on learning how to meditate. Focus on prayer. Go out in nature. Walk. Work out. Dance to a, to a happy, fun song. Put on a funny movie for now into the rest of the weekend. Only raise your vibration so you can start seeing a bit clearer. You are working your way to victory. For some of you, you're afraid that your reputation is ruined in some area of your life. Um, for others, you are about to receive an award, some fame, some victory because you have been doing the work. You're longing for change and you're tired of being constrained. And because of that, you are going to end up experiencing a lot of wins here. Um, freedom. Believe in your power. You're resilient. Okay. The divine wants you to believe in yourself. Um, try to build up your confidence. Maybe you just need to forgive yourself or forgive somebody else or both. And after you do that, you're going to be, um, you know, ready to go. You, you may be surprised on how much better you feel when you just let go of hanging on to um, being a victim. Don't think for one minute I've never ever became a victim because I have. I've made myself a victim. I have many times. But Scorpio, you are nobody's victim. It's time to release emotion, break free of all of this sorrow, and get a plan. Get an action plan going. Tell me what's up in the air here for Scorpio. Wands a relationship for most of you. Ace of Pentacles as well as a position and the world. You don't know if something's over completely or not. Two of Swords, you're just so confused. You're not sure about to lose a job you're not sure if you're able to manifest a new new work you're not sure if not sure relationship is completely over. if you should let it close out or if it's um time to work on it i feel like for a lot of you you can't get a person to talk to you about anything serious you can't get them to make their mind up so you may need to make the decision for them if you have been just sitting around not knowing where you stand with somebody make the decision for them they will come in faster by you making the decision to move forward than they would by you sitting around just allowing them to stalemate your life let's move and we'll have the chapters down below spirit tell me what is the, the money message for my babies today please executive sales hidden talents financial relief coming in and a money strategy you're a leader think it through get a strategy like i i just said a strategy is needed for some of you it's a matter of getting a strategy and making some good decisions one little decision at a time
It's hard to change everything all at once. Work on making small, tiny decisions um, or changing the way you spend. That will be very helpful. You may have a supportive role at work where you're like an assistant or a caregiver. And you have a hidden talent here, sweetheart. For some of you, you're just getting out of the military. You're trying to decide what you want to do or where you want to go. You may be retiring and you're a little nervous because you were in the military for a long time. Or you may be just retiring in general. And you're starting to get a little concerned because you don't want to have to worry about money for some of you. Um, for others, you have a lot of money in reserves, and because of that, it's going to give you the ability to take some chances that you may not be have been able to without that money. You may have some settlement coming in. An excellent time to start a new exercise program, many new friendships on the horizon, and long-distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. You have a new career advancement coming in, but you are being guided in your money here to get a strategy, to think about the long game, especially if you don't have a lot of money in reserves, if you're just living paycheck to paycheck. You may want to strategize how to change that. Sometimes it takes sacrifice, discipline, and budgeting for a while. You may need to stay in a strong budget. I'm only going to spend this much on extras. I'm going to spend this much on food. I'm going to, you know, dwindle down when I'm paying out every month so I can start saving. You're being guided to take a look at your money and your finances so you can start getting ready for the long game. You never know when you'll need that extra money or you'll never know when, when a good opportunity is going to present itself. And if you have the money to invest in it, you can you know make more money. Think about money as just energy, Scorpio. You can make money. You, you have the ability, if you're willing to um, sacrifice a bit, you can make more money. Uh, you, you have the ability to change things around here. For some of you, you've been dealing with some mindset, eight of swords um, issues with your money and finances. You're scared. You're a little concerned. You're afraid that you're not going to be able to manage everything on your own. King of Cups, though, you're standing in your power and trying to stay really emotionally balanced when it comes to money. For some of you, you're waiting for some child support or some settlement to come in, and it is going to allow you a lot of freedom. For others, you may have a new career advancement on the horizon. If you're longing for change, start applying for new jobs. Start looking for new opportunities. Empress, baby, attracting in the money. Spirit is asking you to get in a feminine energy. We also have the king and queen of cups here. For some of you, there's a beautiful divine partnership coming in in money and career. You may meet somebody that offers you a good um, opportunity and it is going to be a, a very, very good match. You, you, you may do something even with a lover for some of you. You possibly have some kind of side gig that you may start with a lover. But getting out of your head and getting out of the eight of swords and getting a strategy is what you're being guided to do. Attract in money. Don't chase. By, and you do that by raising your vibration, by staying positive, by, by being smart when it comes to spending, by putting a signal out to the universe that I am good with money and, and I, am, I am in a healthy place to receive money blessings. The divine is not going to send you some blessing when you're in such a bad place that you're just going to blow it all or not use it to change your life or other people. If you're going to receive a blessing of money, most of the time, it's because um, you're ready for it, right? Your mindset's got to be ready for it. But overall, really good getting some financial relief and being content here today with money and finance. Moving on here to love. Oh, spirit. Let's cleanse the energy, y'all. Let's get it. Spirit, tell me, what is the love message for my babies today. What is it? A sucker for love. A hopeless romantic. Desperate search for love. Oh, sweetheart. I hope this is not you. Desperately trying to search for love. You are lovable. You you are not, you should never be desperate. Now, for some of you, you're hopeless romantics. And there, of course, you are. You are a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. Sun, moon, and Venus. 
Okay, so uh, listen, I know about it. But if you are desperately searching for someone to love you, you can you can actually do the opposite and start propelling love away. So start feeling better about yourself, more confident in your own skin and giving yourself love. You'll be able to bring in a lover faster that way. Sleeping on love, failing to notice the bond and unaware of their feelings. For some of you, you are unaware of what a lover is thinking or wanting. You feel like everything is up in the air. It's really been messing with you. You don't know where you stand with somebody. You don't, you may not even know what you want anymore with this person. Yeah, because there was a love triangle. There was a cheater. This person seems to have feelings for you and somebody else, or you're in the middle of a love triangle. Maybe you are seeing more than one pe person, and you're quite confused. Something could happen around Halloween, but there's prosperity and wealth, autumn time holidays. Something could happen around Halloween, Thanksgiving, um, here somewhere around your birthday, darling. I feel you could meet a new lover or reconnect with this person that you're unaware of how they feel right now. You just don't know. For some of you, you have somebody new around you that you're not noticing because you're just so caught up in if this past person is going to come back. You're not seeing this other person around you who is very interested in you. Um, tell me about the love triangle, please. Yeah, see, for some of you, you were married to this person or you're dealing with somebody who is already married and you're having an affair and you just don't know, is it ever going to change? Are they ever going to leave, etc.? Or you, you could have been left. Um, somebody could have left you um, and, and one, wants a divorce because they've chose another lover. Tell me about the two lovers, please. For some of you, <clears throat> you knew something was not right. This person had questionable behavior. I feel like you were head over heels in love with them at one time, or this person is head over heels for a third party. They're, they got their head in the clouds right now. They're not seeing the reality of the situation. They're, it's just that newness, and they're caught up in the newness and the whatever, but um, they're not you know, seeing this clearly. I feel here at one point between the two of you, um, there was emotional fulfillment. There could also be a very happy ending coming into your love life, sweetheart. There really could be. Tell me about the person on Scorpio's mind today and how are they feeling, please, spirit. Moody. They're difficult to be with here. They're dealing with a lot of ups and downs. They felt that you all were making one another miserable. Um, for some of you, you both were unhappy. They, they feel like, uh, for some of you, they feel like you were moody and unhappy and that's why they left. I'm not saying you are, you don't have to drag me and just giving you the messages that I'm receiving for others. This person was unhappy and they were moody and, and they, um, they left and chose a third party. That doesn't mean that you're not um, the bomb. That doesn't mean you're you're less lesser than. It just means that for one reason or another, this person felt like um, it was, you know, time to move, time to go move forward. I feel like this is somebody that was difficult to be with. Again, they're a dreamer. They're high maintenance. They've got their head in the clouds. This is someone who is not seeing things for what it is. And they may have a really rude awakening to come here because they're just floating around with their head in cloud nine. Maybe they're just a serial cheater and they're always doing this. They like newness, but as soon as a relationship gets hard or there's any work that needs to be done, they're running out the door or meeting new lovers. Tell me about this person's spirit, please. Yeah, see, their sex life here, they're, they're out here, uh, their, their sex life is getting better. They're out here running around, opening their self up sexually to other people. They're back and forth. They have a hard time deciding. And again, mood swings. This is somebody, wow, Scorp, that you're dealing with. Whoever I'm channeling today is very moody. They don't know what they want. No wonder everything's up in the air. One minute they want to work on your connection. The next minute they, they're going to run back to the streets or a third party. Then they're coming back in. They're really moody. Really just you can't say anything to them. They, they get offended easily. They could have a very big 
ego here. They feel like you treated them very well. They feel like you gave them the royal treatment. I do feel like this person looks at you as a really good opportunity or, or feels that you were building a very good life together, but they're, they're in balance. They're, they're all over the place, not knowing what they want. Why cheating here? What is this love triangle, please? <clears throat> For some of you here, you were um, refusing to see. You didn't want to see that this person was a cheater or you weren't seeing here that they were dealing with somebody else until it was too late. Spirit's asking you to ground yourself, please. Ground yourself out in Mother Nature. I feel this person had a desire to escape. They wanted to get out of this connection because it got really, uh, there was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of mood swings happening and, and they got involved with a third party. Um, an issue got out of control, hard to control a problem and putting out fires, time to move on, don't dwell on the past, positive changes at foot. I feel this person was trying to put out fires constantly. They were always trying to lie to you, lie to the third party. They were running around lying to everybody out here and it got out of control. For some of you, there the police have been called. You have had fights with the third party. It got really crazy. You may have not wanted to see that they were still involved with an ex or the mother or father of their child or something like this, but you could just tell that they were really moody and you all were just making one another unhappy because you knew you felt something wasn't right you may have closed your eyes for a while and now once you have opened them this person doesn't like the boundaries that you were trying to put up they seem to have been trying to um put out fires i've been seeing someone else and i'm having a hard time choosing love triangle this is somebody that has feelings for you and another person. I'm sorry, Scorpio. They seem to. This isn't them just having sex. They seem to have feelings for them and you. And that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. Um, but the truth is, this person's got their head in the clouds right now. It's not reality. They may be just swept up in the newness or this person could be feeding their ego and and if it doesn't come back together with them, Scorpio, that does not mean that you are the loser. It looks to me like this relationship got pretty difficult towards the end. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise. You can meet somebody that you feel like your head's in cloud nine as well. Forgive me, but I have found a new love who makes me feel alive. Oh boy. This is a rough one, guys. I do not mean to try. I do not want to at all do I want to trigger anybody but this person seems to be in love with two people you and somebody else for some of you you're the new love and this person's having an affair they're already married for others you were with them and they meant somebody new I feel um, this person comes in and they tell you that they choose you with an apology. I'm sorry for disappointing you. Will you accept my apology? Only to run back out the door the fuck again. Because they do not know what they want. They love you both for different reasons. And um, it depends on the damn day or the blow of the wind on um, who it is they want to be with. One minute they want to be with a new person, the next minute they choose you. One minute they're coming in apologizing, the next minute they're running back out the door. I don't know how to how you keep up here, and no wonder you don't know where you stand here. Scorpio, you may have to make the decision for them. You don't have to wait around and allow them to tell you where your life is going or what you are doing. You are being guided to, to balance yourself out, temperance, and heal here five of swords unfortunately for some of you you very very mentally conflicted so is this person they could overindulge um, you may hear from them today when they're overindulging but it doesn't look like it's going to be a pleasant um reunion i feel there could be some arguing and fighting they seem to want to win here at all cost and 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 they either blocked you or you have put up boundary seven of wands energy that they do not like and so they may have completely discarded you right now because they don't want to be criticized and they don't want to be told what to do um, for some. They could have blocked you out. 
completely. Oh, boy. Spirit, tell me why this person is so moody today, please. Because <clears throat> they got caught. Seven of Swords in reverse. They could have gotten caught by the third party. The third party could have caught them um, having an affair with you or caught them messaging you. Something was illuminated here in the sun. Um, th this person seems to have, uh, everything was exposed. They were walking around, putting out small fires, trying to um, keep this quiet. They didn't want, you know, to get caught. And, and then everything came out. For some of you, it was big. You found all sorts of stuff on this person's phone. You found all sorts of things, and there was no turning back. You couldn't unsee the things that you've seen or a third party seen a lot. Mm -mm -mm. I feel here, what's going to happen today, Spirit? Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. This person could try to come back in today. But they're very moody and they don't know what they want, Scorpio. They don't. Please be careful, okay? If you have a family to this person and you see them today to exchange the kids or do whatever, you may find that they're really nice and they could be saying things or making sexual comments or doing whatever. For some of you, you may hear from this person today. Um... They're planning something here. They, they want to work with you. They want to try to work with you. For some of you, this person's been putting small fires out with a third party because they got caught doing whatever they were doing here. This could be a earth sign, a fixed sign, a Leo, a Sag. I would be very, 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 very careful, Scorpio. This person does not know what they want. Um, they are in, they have feelings for two people and, and they just don't know what they want and you're getting, um, their indecision is bleeding all over you. Please try to stay balanced today and focus on your game. Not the right time. I'm overwhelmed with responsibilities. I don't have the time or energy for this relationship, but no one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and experienced, there is no one that compares to you. This person feels like no one compares to you. The thing is, is it's most likely easier to meet a new lover and go over there because there's not all the issues that happened. There's not all the problems that happened. They can start fresh. They can live with their head in the clouds. And I'm telling you, this is a person that when things get rough, they start going elsewhere. Or they like new love. They like being in a new relationship. And then as soon as it starts to get um, any kind of sort of work at all, they want to run out the door and meet another lover. And I feel like they have done this to you before. For some of you, this person has met a new lover and left you before. And you all got back together and they have done it again. Scorpio, if that is the case, please, please, please protect yourself here. I really wish you the best of luck. Now, I pulled you one of my um, favorite personal oracle deck card, and you pulled number 14, soul child. Rebirth is upon you, beautiful child of the universe. You have prepared for a new life, and it is starting right now. The divine moment of rebirth, which occurs after a period of struggle of intense inner work and physical transformation has arrived. Enjoy getting to know your new self it is a new day, a new beginning, and a new you. Like an adventurer enjoying the discovery of a brand new world, take time to explore the increase of light, power, and love. Spirit is saying, Scorpio, you are going through a huge transformation, a huge rebirth. Enjoy getting to know you, sweetheart, the new you. You do not have to sit around and allow somebody um, to, to keep you in a stalemate in your whole entire life where you do not know where you're going or what is coming or what th this person is dictating whether or not you rebuild your life and move on for some of you. 
If I was you, I would really take a moment to sit with myself. Is it really worth it? Waiting around, hoping to be chose with your hand up. Now, I've stood with my hand up many times. I have. But Scorpio, looking back, I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I wouldn't have done it because it only fell apart anyway. Once these kind of things start happening, it's very, very slim chance that your relationship will be able to be healthy and, and, and rebuilt. So please keep that in mind. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. I do not want to trigger anybody. I hope I didn't. Love and light.